What is going on everybody? My name is Nick and welcome to my first NBA 2K23 video. Finally got the game downloaded. It took forever. It took such a long time. But I finally have it and I'm excited here to bring you guys my first NBA 2K23 video where today I'm going to be controlling my favorite team, the Milwaukee Bucks, and going to be trying to uh, get Giannis his second ring of his career. We are using the Bucks. Just going to quickly go through their roster. For those of you that don't know what the roster looks like this year, it's very similar to last year. Still got uh, tw you got 27-year-old Giannis. He is a 97 in the game this year. You got Drew Holiday. He's getting older. He's gonna gonna probably he's probably he's gonna regress at some point, and hopefully he doesn't. In the three years we're doing this, and hopefully we can win the title in the first. In the, hopefully we can win a title in these first two years. If not, we are gonna have to go to a year three, which is no big deal. But, we got a healthy Chris Middleton coming back this year in the game. Uh, he is going to be asking for a new contract. Hopefully I can bring him back. We got Brooke Lopez. Not sh not for sure if I'm going to bring him back yet. We'll, we'll see, but he's here for this year. Uh, we got Bobby Portis on that new three-year deal. Uh, good, that was a really good signing for the Bucks. Uh, he was he was very good last year. As you can see, average 14.6 points a game. Uh, and not, uh, nine rebounds. Shot shot. 39 from three, almost 48 from the field. Good stuff from Bobby. Uh, brought in Joe Ingles uh, from the Jazz. He was with Portland uh, when he got injured last year. Um, could be a nice piece off the bench. Then we got Pat Connaughton. Brought him back. He, he signed an extension. Pretty solid player. Grayson Allen might try to look to move him at the deadline. I mean, he's still a solid player for us. He averaged 11 points a game. About three rebounds and assists. Shot 44 from the field, 40 from three. I might look to move him at the deadline. We'll see. They did. The Bucks did extend him. But yeah, it's a guy I might move. Uh, Serge Baca, pretty solid backup center for this year. Uh, George Hill, I'm going to look to move here before we start uh, simming games in the regular season here. Uh, then we've got Wesley Matthews back. Nice veteran presence off the bench. Still got Thanasis here, Giannis's brother. Uh, Javon Carter. Uh, he's only had a one-year deal here, but I believe he d signed an extension with the Bucks. Uh, I'll probably give him an extent, a two-year deal in the off-season, so we can have him for the video. Uh, then we got the rookie Marjan Bojamp. We'll see if he gets any playing time this year. Uh, and then, and then just some roster filler guys in Luca Fodosa. And then we got uh, Sandro uh, on the two-way, and then AJ Green. So that is the roster for the Bucks. I'm gonna look to move George Hill now, and then I will. Probably send to the trade deadline uh, and see if I want to move um, Grayson Allen. Otherwise, I would probably see you guys at the end of the season. But I'll see you. I'll s I'm going to look to move George Hill right now. All right, we found a trade here for George Hill. Just getting something for him. So George Hill for Juan Toscano, who I believe went to, who went to Marquette. So we're bringing him back to Wisconsin. And then a trade exception of $1.67 million dollars to make this deal work with the Lakers and the Lakers have agreed to this deal all right so we get Juan Toscano and yeah I and I just noticed like uh, before before I made that trade that uh, Jordan Wara is not on the team I was I was thinking about bringing him back but now we have Juan Toscano on this roster so yeah I'm gonna see you got I will I'm gonna set my rotation here look at the uh, system proficiency and I'll get going on the season here is going to be our rotation to start uh, to start the first season here of this road to a championship. It is Drew Holiday getting 38 minutes, Grayson Allen 26, Middleton 38, Giannis 38. So we're playing a lot of minutes to the big three. Going to start Bobby Portis at center this year, and then Brooke Lopez will be coming off the bench with Pat Connaughton, uh, Javon Carter, uh, Serge Ibaka, and Wesley Matthews. Not going to play Ingles just because he is actually hurt in real life. He's coming back from an injury. Uh, if we have any injuries, I will play Ingles, and I definitely think he's going to see time in the playoffs. But for now, we're not going to play him. Uh, let's check on our system proficiency under Budenholzer. It is four stars under defense. It's also four stars under balanced. Probably run balanced uh, because it's our preferred. S yeah, probably going to run balance. Okay, make that our active because because it, it is his preferred system. And then I didn't check. Um, uh, I was going to see if there's score. Oh, there is no, is there scoring options? Yeah, there is. Okay. I'm going to set Giannis as our first scoring option. Middleton is our second. Holiday is our third. So there is that. And start simming here. And I'll see you guys either at the deadline if I decide to move Grayson Allen or, uh, at the end of the season. 
All right, guys. We're sitting here at the contract extension deadline, and Brook Lopez wants to resign. I'm gonna, I'm gonna resign. He's expected 11 mil. I mean, I'll give. I can't give him a one-year deal. Yeah, I'll give him. I'll give him this two-year extension. About 10, about 11 mil the first year, and 11.7 mil the second. We could always trade him. Um, after we could always trade him next after next or at the deadline next year if we want to. So we resign Brook Lopez. Nobody else is eligible. And if we look at the look at the stand, look at the playoff picture here. We are the top team in the East, we're sitting, so we're doing pretty well. We're ahead of Boston, Cleveland, Philly, and Chicago. Are the other other top five teams, and pretty solid. Here's the West: Warriors, Grizzlies, Nuggets, Mavericks, and Lakers are top five in the West. All right, now continue here till the end of the season. Did, decide not to move Grayson Allen. He was doing just fine, but I will show you guys the. Stats really quickly, and then we'll continue until the end of the season. Looking at the player stats, Giannis is balling out as per usual. 24, nearly 11 rebounds game, 6 assists, 51 from the field. Uh, not great from 3, but it's come to be expected from Giannis. Chris Middleton's doing solid. Uh, Holiday's looking good. Uh, Luca Valdosa, for some reason, is balling out for us. He's shooting 54 from the field and 37 from 3. There's Brook Lopez's numbers. I think those were worth an extension for sure. Uh, could always look to move him after this year, like I said. Uh, and then Bobby Portis. Uh, Bobby Portis is playing pretty solid as well. Good, good stuff from him. Forty from three. Uh, there's Grayson Allen. Yeah, not gonna move him for now, but I might in the off season. He's playing pretty well. Um, and then there's Connaughton, Abaca, Juan Toscano, Ingles, Carter, and the rest of the guys. All right, so I will now. I will. I will see you guys at the end of the season. All right, at the end of the first season here, Luka Doncic wins MVP, and holy cow, he averaged 40 points a game, nearly 41 and a half, 12.7 rebounds, 10 assists. Wow, he's literally he might be. He might be even more OP than he has been in the last two Ks with that triple double, two steals, uh, thirty or fifty three from three, uh, eighty five from the line and sixty four from three. Yeah, I did not see that in two K twenty at all. Uh, Chet Holmgren, rookie of the year, he's out for the season in real life, but he wins rookie of the year in two K here in the two K sim. Pretty solid numbers there. Malcolm Brogdon, sixth man of the year in Boston. So he's coming off the bench behind Smart. Interesting. Interesting stuff. Uh, Giannis wins defensive player of the year. Let's go. All right. That's really solid num solid numbers from Giannis. He did dip a little bit of points, it looks like. And then most improved was Mitchell Robinson for the, the Knicks. I feel like I never see that either in any of the 2K20 sims. So that's, that's different. Mike Budenholzer, coach of the year, as we are first... In the Eastern Conference, we win 59 games. Good stuff. Uh, let's look at the All-NBA teams quick. Uh, it is Luka, Trey, LeBron, uh, Tatum, and Jokic on first team. Second team is LaMelo Ball. Uh, James Harden, who has a pinched elbow nerve. Uh, Giannis makes it on second team. Sweet. Uh, DeMar DeRozan and Joel Embiid. Uh, and then third team is Shea, Steph Curry, Paul George, Jimmy Butler, and Anthony Davis. All defensive teams, Giannis obviously on here as defensive player of the year. Ben Simmons is on here with the Nets. He has a bruised left heel. Uh, Lonzo, Matisse, and Anthony Davis. And I even mentioned, I do have injuries on, but the sliders are very low, so there shouldn't be too many injuries. And Drew Holiday uh, well, is on all defensive second team. Let's go. DeJounte Murray on there. He's... He's out four to six weeks with a broken right ankle. Dang. Uh, and then Paul George, Kawhi, Mitchell Robinson. Let's see these all-rookie teams. It is Chet, Jabari, Palo, Jaden Ivey, and Keegan Murray. Okay, Keegan Murray, Murray makes it. And then for second team, it is Benedict Mathurin, Jeremy Shohan, Mark Williams, Johnny Davis, Wisconsin uh, uh, alumni there, and uh, Dyson Daniels. Let's look at the playoffs here. See who we're taking on. Oh, this looks a little different with the play-in tournament. Uh, but let's see. Can we? Can I? Uh, let's simulate the play-in and see who we're taking on. And it is going to be the Indiana Pacers. All right, taking on the Pacers. 
Um, surprised they made the playoffs, honestly. Uh, how do you see? Yeah, right here. The Pacers, who have, let's see, they have Tyrese Halliburton, Buddy Heald, Chris Trumarte, Jalen, Jalen Smith, and Miles Turner. And then Benedict Matherin, Isaiah Jackson, Goga. They got Daniel Tice. So that is their team right there. Aaron Nesmith is on the Pacers now, too. Former Celtic. Uh, I'm going to look at our team stats here and ch uh, set our rotation here for the playoffs. All right, there's Giannis's numbers. We saw those. Chris Middleton averages 20 this season. That's awesome. I uh, had five and a half rebounds a game, five assists, of uh, 43% from the three and uh, almost 40 from the field. That's definitely all-star worthy for Chris. Let's see if we can bring him back next season. But hopefully we win the title this year. I'm hoping so we don't have any pressure next year. But I still want to bring Chris back. Uh, Drew Holiday, 18 and a half a game, uh, four rebounds, six assists, 46 from the field, and 37, 37 and a half of three. Really good stuff. Uh, Luke Valdoza finished out the season with similar numbers there. Uh, then the same with Brooke Lopez. And then, let's see, Bobby Portis is still good. What was he from three? He was uh, 39 from three, almost 40, okay? Grayson Allen finishes out with finishes out 40 from three, but he can't hit a two to sa save his life. There's uh, Pat Connaughton. He was 42 from three, very good. Uh, there's Serge Ibaka. It was he shooting threes? Yeah. Uh, he was shooting some threes. He wasn't great. Not he wasn't shooting many. There's Juan Toscano. Uh, Marjan Bojan. Not too bad for his rookie year. I mean, how many games did he play? Let's see. I can you can check that now. We scroll over to or is it not gonna? Sh yeah, he played twelve games. That's not terrible for twelve games played. For Marjan, and then there's Joe Ingles. Did he play much or not really? Let's see. Oh, he played 63 games. Okay, he played a lot. Uh, he shot. Uh, did he shoot well from three? Yeah, not bad. I probably will play him like 10 minutes in the playoffs. Javon Carter was was all right. He did not shoot well from three. I don't think I don't think we're gonna play him at all in the playoffs. Uh, he did. He only played 25 games. Yeah, we're not going to play him. Uh, there's Wesley Matthews, Thanasis, AJ Green, Sandro didn't play. All right, let's, I'm good, let's set our rotation for the playoffs here. All right, here's going to be our rotation for the playoffs after some adjustments here. Drew Holiday getting 39. Uh, we're starting Connaughton over Allen, getting 27 minutes. Middleton and Giannis getting 40. Um, and then 31 for Brooke Lopez. Uh, 23 for Bobby Portis, 15 for Ingles, 12 for Allen, and 12 for Ibaka. All right, let's hop into this series. Let's get this series going against the Pacers. Yeah, I'm going to simulate the round here. Pause if we need to. It's 1-1. One, one. Yeah, we go up 2-1. Can we go up 3-1? We do. And can we move on and win a 5? We... We do. All right. And Philly beats Atlanta. I just noticed OKC, OKC beat Dallas. Memphis got upset by the Clippers. Wow. The Lakers upset the Nuggets. And the Pelicans beat the Warriors. Some crazy stuff over in the, the West. Cats, Cavs, Celtics on the other side. Uh, let's see. Let's look at these box scores here. Game one, they beat us 125-101. Uh, Giannis did not play that well. Uh, Middleton actually led us in scoring in game one. The Pacers, Buddy Heel dropped 30 in game one. Uh, game two, we won 129-110. Holiday drops 31. Middleton with 23-11. and 11. Giannis had 19-7-7 seven and seven. Uh, for them. Buddy Heel led them in scoring once again. Uh, then game three, we win by eight, 99-91. Tyrese Halliburton scores 24 for the Pacers. Has seven rebounds, eight assists, and five steals. Wow. For us, Giannis is 32, 15, and 5. Monster game. Middleton with 38, 2, and, 3, and 2. Very good numbers there. Uh, game 4, Giannis drops 36, 14, and, and 6. Dang, and has a steal and a block. Middleton, uh, Middleton and Connaughton had nice games there. Uh, for them, it was Halliburton and Matherin each had 20 points. Oh, and then game five, Giannis drops 19 points, 17 rebounds, 7 assists. Wow. 
Holiday and Middleton each score 20 plus points. Middleton had 29. Wow. Good stuff in game five. And then the Pacers, Buddy Heald led them again. Not a recipe for success, apparently. All right, Philly. Let's check out their team. They probably they probably had the same team. Yeah, I think Harden, Maxi, Thibel, Harris, Embiid, Anthony Melton is their sixth man. You got Harold Tucker, Harold Tucker off their bench. Shake Milton, Korkamas. Yeah, that's a pretty solid bench there. Sixers. I probably let's let's some. Um, Let's simulate this round here, right? And if we get into trouble, if we get, oh, we're down 0-2 to Philly. Uh, I probably wish, I think we're gonna probably wanna shorten the rotation. Let's see. Uh, game one, they beat us by two. Oh my goodness. And Bobby Portis has 28 and 10. Giannis has 25, 10 and six. Middleton with 21. Who went? Who played well for them? It was Harden and Embiid. Embiid had 20 points and 20 rebounds. Holy crap! Um, and then game two, Harden had 33 to help lead the Sixers to a 108, 102 win. And then for us, Giannis had 26, 14. Yeah, I think we're gonna adjust. Let's adjust the rotation again here. I think I'll shorten it to eight. Want our starters playing more minutes? All right, shorten my rotation here. It it oh, I got Holiday getting Holiday getting forty now with Middleton and Giannis Connaughton getting twenty nine, uh, Bobby Portis thirty three, Rick Lopez twenty five, seventeen Ingles at sixteen to Ibaka. Grayson Allen appears to be hurt. I'm gonna see what his injury is quick. Uh, if we go, Grayson Allen, it is a bruised right hip. So looks like he's gonna be out probably for the rest of this round and maybe the next round. So, that is a bummer. We're down 0-2. I'm going to start simcasting these games. All right. Let's simulate. Let's see how we do here. We are up. Oh, they take the lead in the second. Oh, not a good second quarter. And, oh, we're getting kind of blown out here. Oh, boy. I think we're just going to let it ride out, and we're going to get blown out here. 149-112. Wow. Uh, Chris Middleton scores 30. Uh, and the loss, 27 for Holiday, 21 for Giannis. It wasn't enough. Harden drops 45, and Embiid drops 39 and 16. Those two are balling out. Man, let's see how the other series are going. They're, the other series are pretty close. I think we're just going to simulate the round. Hopefully we don't get swept. And we got some good series going on the other side. And we get swept by a Philly. Oh, man. I think I'm going to blame Grayson Allen on this one. We're going to try to trade. We're going to trade him, man. I maybe try to look to get a uh, an upgrade at backup center for Serge Ibaka. All right, let's see who wins the finals this year. It's Philly, Boston, and OKC and New Orleans uh, um, in the East and Western conferences. Let's see who goes to the finals. It's going to be Sixers, Pelicans, and let's see. It's looking like Zion and the Pelicans are going to win, uh, but the Harden and the Embiid and the Sixers tied up, and they win in seven. Okay. We, we, uh, luckily, we lost to the team that won it all. That makes me feel better. And the Beard is your finals MVP. And in the draft lottery, let's see. I'm going to see if we have our pick. The Jazz do get the number one pick. Good for them. They had the worst record. That Rockets pick, I believe, is from the P.J. Tucker trade. So it doesn't look like we have our pick this year. Houston has it. Uh, no, we do not. We don't have a first-round pick. Right. I don't know if we have a second. I guess we can we can look and see if we have a second round pick. Uh, Steph signings. Our staff is good. Is our trainer bad? Our trainer is B. Is there any A trainers that are? Uh, I'll keep our trainer for now. Okay, yeah, we're going to keep our staff. I still have Vin Baker as an assistant. Yeah, let's keep the staff. The only thing I was debating, I was getting a better trainer, but I think we're good. Let's, I'm going to see if we have any draft picks here. Uh, let's see. We, we do have a second from the Cavs, and we have a second, we have our own second at pick 30. So we have pick 29 and pick 30, okay, of the second round. Let's see if there's, so I will be making those selections, 
All right, getting some interesting offers here for Grayson Allen on draft night. I, I think this is the one we're gonna do. There's a few other ones I like. Uh, Grayson Allen and a second for and our second this year uh, for Luke Kennard. I probably will do that, and then we'll still have that Cavs pick. I was offered a bunch of picks. I could get Cody or Caleb Martin. Malik Monk. Malik Monk's kind of interesting. Robert Covington. I would think about it. Good defense, but it's not a bad move. Uh, we could get uh, another offer I liked was uh, this Gary Payton deal as well. We'd give up a 2024 second. I might do this over the Canard one, actually. We offered Patrick Baldwin Jr. Yeah, a lot of picks. The Bulls, Cavs, Grizzlies, Hawks were all offering us picks. I think we're going to do the Gary Payton one. Be a good defender off our bench, and he can shoot. Yeah, and we don't have to give up our picks this year. Yeah, let's do this deal with the Blazers here for Gary Payton. All right, so I'm gonna do that, and we're going to, and I will uh, see you all with my picks, with players I take. Uh, and then for our picks, we took uh, Dana Turner out of uh, Southern Utah. Uh, he's a shooting guard slash point guard. I'll sign him, and then we took Richie Fox out of Kentucky. He's a 73. Uh, I'll sign both of these guys. Uh, Team player options. Chris Middleton opts in. Cool. Um, and then I, uh, Javon Carter declines. And then AJ Green accepts his two-way. All right. Qualifying offers. I will offer it to Sandro and Luca Valdoza. Uh, and then we're at Moratorium here. Let's see who's here. Kyrie, James Harden, Tyler Hero, RJ Barrett. Probably don't not looking to make a play at for any of these guys really. Uh, looking at our looking at our cap situation here. Yeah, looking at our cap situation here. Oh uh, yeah, we don't have any cap because we're paying Giannis and Chris Middleton a lot of money. Same with Drew Holiday. But uh, yeah, I think I don't think I'm really gonna be making any moves unless I mean I don't need to I don't need to extend uh, don't need to extend Chris Middleton because he opted in. Uh, if we have a mid level exception, maybe I'll sign uh, Joe Ingles. Otherwise, I don't think we're gonna bring any of these guys back. Probably maybe yeah, maybe Thanasis. I could bring Thanasis back. I probably just need a backup center honestly. I probably just need a backup center. Um, yeah, I don't really need Wesley Matthews, honestly. I'll probably, if I can bring back, if, um, yeah, if I can bring back, like I said, if I can bring back, um, Joe Ingles, cool, for less, maybe like 7 mil, um, and then I'd be fine with that, and then I might just keep Luca Feldoz as our backup point guard, he wasn't bad. Yeah, there's really nobody else here that's, like, a key player for us. We just... We just gotta fill out our roster, so I'll probably I'll skip past moratorium here. Um, let's see, Wesley Matthews. I'm gonna renounce or not renounce the rights on Joe Ingles or Thanasis. I would like to bring these guys back. Other than that, I don't care about the rest of these guys. I think we'll renounce the rights on Ibaka, Carter. Oh, Vildoza is a free agent. I wouldn't mind. I'll see if we can find a better backup point guard. Let's see, Juan Toscano. I wouldn't mind bringing him back. Uh, same with Sandro, if we could. So, okay, yeah, we'll just skip past more. We'll skip past this here. Let's see. Ish Smith is here. Devontae Graham. I think Dragic should be a nice backup point guard. He's kind of old, but so would Ish Smith. Um, I would take me. I would maybe take Ish Smith to be a backup point guard. Ty Jerome. Yeah, I'm gonna sign Ish Smith here to be our backup point guard. Why not? Uh, okay, there's. I don't think we're gonna announce the rights on any of these other guys. I'll see if we can bring back Ingles and Thanasis. Let's see about bringing Joe Ingles back. Let's see what we can get. Um, 
He wants about seven mil. Can I just give him, or could we just give him a one year three mil deal? Let's do that. All right. Good. Joe Ingles signs with us. Okay, cool. All right, we get the Nassus. And we get Wesley Matthews. So I can renounce the rights on, on Juan Descano. That should do it for free agency for us. I'm going to see where some of these guys went in free agency. Uh, let's see. Kyrie Irving signed with the Rockets. Harden back to the Sixers. Let's see. Hero goes back to the Heat. RJ Barrett back to the Knicks. Wiggins back to the Warriors. Mavericks. Let's see. Vucevic signs with the Pacers. Huh. Interesting. Anybody else leaving? Draymond Green goes to the Thunder. Let's see, Stephen Adams also going to the Pacers. He's going to be playing with Vucevic. Miles Turner goes to the Rockets to play with Kyrie. Uh, let's see, Mike Conley to the Pistons. Dylan Brooks to the Spurs. Harrison Barnes goes to the Magic. Warren to the Jazz. Yeah, interesting stuff here in free agency. Let's see, Giannis is a 98. Middleton and Holiday regress. That's not good. Especially Holiday. Oh, boy. Uh, but we got to win it this year. This year or next year. We only have two seasons left of this. Bobby Portis is an 81. Brooke Lopez is a 78. Uh, there we go. And if he's not playing, if he's if our team's not doing well, I'll probably will look to trade Brooke at the deadline. We'll see. Or not as well as we should. Or he's not playing well. Let's see. Connaughton's up. We got Gary Payton in here at a 77. He's, yeah, I think he'll be a solid bench piece for us. Where's that Bojamp went up? That's good. Uh, and then here's the rest of our roster filler guys. And we got, we got the Nassus and Wesley Matthews back. All right. All right, at training camps here. I'm trying to figure out what to set it to here. Um, be all set. They'll set like Peck, someone to perimeter defense or perimeter shooting. I could set Giannis to perimeter shooting. Let's set Giannis to perimeter shooting. Why not? He does need need it to be improved there. His mid range actually goes up, and his three goes up by two. Yeah, why not? Let's have Giannis improve his perimeter game a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to set free throw to our team because free throws are very important. Yeah, this definitely definitely will help us. Help us a lot to do free throw. <laughs> I will see you guys with my lineup for season number two. Okay, here's our rotation here for second season. It is Drew Holiday getting 36, 26 to Connaughton, 37 to Chris Middleton, 38 to Giannis Antetokounmpo, 34 to Bobby Portis, uh, 23 to Brooke Lopez, 15 to Gary Payton the second, and then Beauchamp is getting minutes this year, the 20. 22 draft pick. He's getting 11 minutes. Uh, 10 minutes to our backup center, Derek Favors. And then 10 minutes to our backup point guard, Ish Smith. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think we'll probably, or I'll probably, uh, yeah, I'll keep scoring options the same this year. System proficiency is still four stars. That will keep the same as well. Uh, I'll see you guys at the dead deadline or contract ex either at the trade or contract extension deadline. All right, I'm trying to work out a Brook Lopez deal. I was offered a deal uh, to get Daniel Gafford with um, with Bobby Portis, but I don't want to trade Bobby Portis. And our, as you can see, guys, our team is not doing too well. We're at the trade deadline. We're 15 and 37. I'm gonna try to trade Brook for Daniel Gafford. Let's see what they say. We're not interested. They have a counter offer. Two seconds for Daniel Gafford. Could I get? Could I get one of your seconds? Could I get your 2026 20, second, unprotected? They want another. They want to. Can we do a swap on one of these? Or can we? Can we do a? Can we do? Yeah, how about this? How about this? Uh, let's do. Let's swap twenty twenty seven seconds. We're the worst team in the East right now. What the heck? So I'll swap a second and I'll give you up a second. Give up one second. They're not interested. They want our twenty twenty eight second. All right, we'll do this. 
getting Daniel Gafford on the team. And I'm going to make one more trade here. All right, I found a trade here for Gary Payton. Second round pick uh, with the second round pick for Alex Caruso. I think we're going to do that. Let's do that deal. And I'm thinking possibly about trading, uh, if I can, I'm going to see if we can trade uh, either Joe Ingles or Is Smith. So I might I might do another move. I said one more move, but I might look at Joe Ingles or Is Smith trades here yet. And then I will continue with the season. And we finish up season number two with a terrible record, 23 and 54. So not really sure if we were bad defensively or offensively. Offensively, I really don't know. I'll have to see if we can figure that out. I'm not sure what we're gonna do for the final season, man. I really don't. Uh, but yeah, we got one more season left. Jokic wins his third MVP uh, here this season. Uh, Morris Hampton is the rookie of the year for the Wizards. Wow, those are some big numbers. Malcolm Brogdon goes back to back uh, for sixth man of the year. Uh, Giannis wins Depoy again, but well, for not this year. Nazir Little is the most approved on the Mavericks. Uh, and then Taylor Jenkins, Coach of the Year, I'm guessing for the Grizzlies. Uh, let's see, we get Giannis on All-NBA first team. Uh, nobody on second team. No Bucks on second team. Darius Garland makes third team. Wow, that's pretty cool. Uh, Morris Hampton made All-NBA third team as a rookie. Wow. Uh, and then there's all defensive first team Giannis on there. We get Drew Holiday and all defensive second team. Really don't know why this team is so bad. It was just the pieces around Giannis, I guess, weren't good. Uh, let's see. There's the playoffs. We'll simulate the we'll simulate the playoffs after I check out the uh, the stats here. stats okay Giannis was very good I mean he's a 98 overall we shouldn't be losing that many games though he shot 31 from three Chris Middleton was good Drew Holiday not as good this year actually wasn't great efficiency wise uh so maybe it's time to move on from Drew Holiday I might trade Drew Holiday honestly it might be that might be the move I mean Chris Middleton is still good I think we keep him uh, Bobby Portis is solid. Uh, let's see. Daniel Grafford, really solid center. Uh, backup center. Uh, Pat Connaughton is f still still pretty good. Uh, Beauchamp, not too bad in his first full season. Oops, I went to the Bulls. Uh, let's see. Fox is pretty good. How many games did he play? He played, he played 60 games. Wow. Pretty solid in those 60 games, actually. Maybe he just wasn't a good defender. Derek Favors, solid. Uh, let's see. Caruso. Dang, Caruso is horrible. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, there's the minivan. Joe Ingles. I think we just... This team just maybe just doesn't work. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, team stats... We were ranked the third worst team in the league. Uh, let's see. What's per game? We a lot. Yeah, our defense was not good. That's the problem. So I think we need to get better defensively. Um, offensively, yeah, offensively we just didn't score enough either. It doesn't look like. I mean, we scored 115 points a game, which is still pretty good. Yeah, we just our defense was not good. All right, let's see if we can. I'm, I might fire Budenholzer, honestly. Might be, we're going to have to change our coaching staff. Uh, we'll see, man. I'll see what we do. I'll see what we do in the offseason. Let's simulate the playoffs. Let's see, we had a Warriors Pistons finals. Almost had a Warriors Celtics rematch of the uh, 2022 finals. And the Warriors win it again. They won another championship. Uh, Steph Curry wins Finals MVP. Uh, let's get in this offseason. Make some moves, man. I think we're going to have to move Drew Holiday, honestly. That's the plan. 
And let's see. We should. Do we have our pick? I hope we have our pick this year, actually, because maybe I can make a move with Drew Holiday, or we can get a we can get a good draft pick. Either way, let's see. We no, we don't have our pick because of the Pel the Drew Holiday trade. Oh man! And now we're gonna probably trade Drew Holiday. Oh man. Let's skip the lottery. And the Pelicans won the lottery with that Lakers pick from the AD trade. That oh that. Holiday pick would have been number four. Wow. I'm trying to see if we have any picks. Yeah, we don't even have a pick this year, do we? Doesn't look like it. Last year we had the last pick in the first round. All right, staff signings. I'm going to get a new trainer. I think we're going to fire Budenholzer too. Sean Navarro or Donald Jones. Uh, we'll offer both of them. I think I'll offer both of them. Let's see which one we get. Let's see, we need a CFO. Let's see. Jason Taylor, offer him a deal. And then I'm gonna advance and we shot uh yeah, sign Sean Navarro. Taylor is tentative. Ah, uh, Taylor rejects, okay. And I'm gonna fire Budenholzer right now. Sorry, buddy. Um, who else is here? We got Trent Peterson, Mike Brown. Mike Brown got fired. Monty Williams. Monty Williams is here. Let's hire Monty Williams. Yeah, let's give Monty Williams a shot. All right, and then CFO. Let's just let's get this Rod. Let's get this Rogers guy, Caleb Rogers. See. And we get Rogers and we get Monty Williams to be our new head coach. All right, it's cool. Simulate the draft here, unless we have a second round. Yeah, we're just gonna simulate the draft. We don't have any picks. <laughs> it's rough out here, bro. The top pick was Xavier Booker to the Pelicans, who's an 83 overall. Javante Taylor, 81 to the Jazz, and then Bronny James went three to the Hawks. Interesting. And then Jabari Abdul-Rahim went to the Pelicans as well. Mikey Williams to the Spurs. All right. And then we got all the rookies. Do we have any player options? Drew Holiday opts in to his player option. I'm going to look to move him. Uh, Beauchamp, I'll accept. Caruso declining. I'm not paying him that. Fox, I'll accept. I will pick it up on Turner as well. And then there's and then qualifying offers. We have no one. All right, I need to look for a Drew Holiday trade here now. All right, we have a trade offer here from the Celtics. It was Drew Holiday and Pat Connaughton for Marcus Smart and Derek White. Uh, I'm going to see if I can do this without Pat Connaughton. They, yeah, they want Pat Connaughton and a first. I don't think so. Uh, I don't want to give up a first. Um, let's see. Is there another player maybe they want? that? Uh, let's see. Not really. Maybe I, I might wait. I'm going to revisit this deal after uh, free agency. Oh, I got to bring back Middleton. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm going to try to bring Middleton back on a two-year deal. Let's see, offer him that. I almost forgot about Middleton, man. Uh, and then we could use a power forward as well. 
perimeter defense. Yeah, let's bring in Gary Harris here on the minimum to be our backup shooting guard. And then for power forwards, is there anybody like that I really want? Uh, I'm seeing. Maybe I could try to get one in a trade. I mean, I could get Robert Covington. Uh, hmm, Derek Jones. I might get Covington because I think he could help our defense. Yeah, let's get Covington as well. And I'm going to wait. I think that's all we're going to do for free agency. We get Middleton, Harris, and Covington. All right. I'm cool with that. All right, so we signed some guys to fill out our roster. This is what we're looking like here. Uh, before I move holiday, we had Giannis Middleton. Got him back on a two-year deal. Uh, Bobby Portis, holiday, holiday here for the trade. Uh, I'll try to, if we can't move them, I mean, I'll keep them. I don't mind keeping them, but I'm going to try to move them. Uh, we still got Gafford, Connaughton, Bojamp, uh, Richie Fox, our, I think it was our second round pick last year. Uh, we signed Frank Capazzo uh, and Gary Harris to be backups. Uh, Robert Covington, nice defender off the bench. And then Dana Turner, we got Thanasis back as well. I'm going to see if we can find anything for Holiday. If not, uh, start the season and see if we can be, be at least slightly better this year. All right, guys. I'm gonna. Tr I'm trying to work out a Ben Simmons for Drew Holiday deal. Also, I added Marcus Smart, Damian Lillard, and Ant Anthony Simons to the trade block. Just players that could possibly be moved. I mean, the Nets were rebuilding. Blazers are re or rebuilding. And uh, Mark, I was offered a Marcus Smart trade earlier, but the Celtics are not offering it now. So let's see, Holiday for Simmons straight up would work. I don't. Let's start with that. What? Uh, no, they don't want to do that. Uh, what if we give up a first? If we give up our first in twenty twenty seven unprotected, I don't know if they'll do this. No. Uh, I'll give up a second first, and that's all I can do. Uh, I'll give up my... T Wait, I can't trade consecutive first, though, can I? Or I'd give them this Pelican swap worst. Uh, 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 I can give up this 2028 first, too. Let's see, would they do that? No, all right, Ben Simmons is not happening. Let's try... Let's try to get. Let's try Mark. Let's revisit getting Marcus Smart onto the Celtics. So Smart. I know they had Derek White in the deal. Um, throw Derek White in, and then Drew Holiday. This money would work. I'd give you. I'd give you a. I'd give you my first in 2028 as well for this. Would they do this? Uh, they do not. They want Bobby Portis and a second. Sam Hauser, no. No. I'll do this. Let's see. No, they really want Bobby Portis. Is there somebody else that they like? Uh, in the... I'd give them Daniel Gafford. Uh, money doesn't work. Okay. Uh, I'll give you Richie Fox. You know, they really want Bobby Portis. Come on. I'll give you one more player. Is there another player you like? I'll give you... Uh, I don't really want to give up Bochamp. I'll give you Gary Harris. Oh, Gary Harris, we can't. Or Composo. Um, can't trade. You're not really giving me much to work with here, Celtics. I'll give you Dana Turner. Wait, Isaiah Roby. Money does work. They'd give me Isaiah Roby in this deal. Does this work? No. I'm not giving you Bobby Portis. Alright, forget it, Celtics. Um, let's try Damian Lillard and Anthony Simons. If that doesn't work, I'm sticking with this team. Let's try Damian Lillard for Drew Holiday. Money doesn't work, so we got to throw in another player. Let's see. Uh, 
Might have to be Daniel Gafford. Yeah, Drew Holiday and Daniel Gafford. Uh, they are not going to trade Dame. Can I give you... Can I give you... Would a first-round pick suffice? 2077 first. No, okay. Can I get Anthony Simons in the, Can I get Anthony Simons instead? Um, let's see. They don't want to trade Dame. Let's try Simons. Uh, I'll take Gafford out. Why is this invalid? Uh, Blazers would acquire six more mil than allowed. Okay, we need a player that's worth. We need to make that money work. Uh, uh, let's see. I would take. Jabari Walker or Yudoka Azabuki. Let's see. Maybe Azabuki. I think they're more likely to give up him. Uh, oh, we can't. Um, what about Jabari Walker? Let's see. Would they do this? No. Uh, how about another first round pick? Out of 2028, unprotected first. They would not do that. Uh, let's see. Uh, we're going to keep Drew Holiday. Because here's the trades we were offered for him. I'll show you guys. They're not very good offers. Norman Powell and Avika Zubats. No, I don't want to do that. And then Kelly Uber and Mike Conley. That was it. So we're going to keep Drew Holiday. Can't really trade him. Oh, yeah. I'm going to take these guys off my target list. I want to keep him on the block for now. See player progression here. Giannis is a ninety-eight. Middleton regresses. Holiday is regressing. Oh man, not great. Gafford progresses, and let's go to training camps. All right, training camps here. I think I'm gonna set big man defense to either Bobby Portis or Daniel Gafford. Let's see. Javi Portis is A minus. Gafford's a B plus. We'll send Gafford inside D for big man defense. All right. Oh, he, his block went up quite a bit, or by three. That's good. Actually, every yeah, that's good. That's good stuff. Um, then what else should I set? I might set the perimeter defense to somebody. Let's see. We just mainly need to improve defense. Perimeter defense, who should I set it to? Maybe Pat, I'll set it to, wait, who's an F? Richie Fox, um, he's this big guy though. I'll set it to Pat Connaughton, perimeter defense. Yeah, probably a good idea. And then I'm gonna set free throw to the team. That will do it for camps. Let's go to the season. Bojamp. Okay, there we go. All right, here's going to be our rotation for the final season. Uh, uh, Drew Holiday getting 26, 27 to Connaughton, 37 to Middleton, uh, and then 37 to Giannis and Portis as well. Gafford is our sixth man. Should I actually, should I start, maybe I should start Bogdan Bodanovich. Um... Yeah, I might. I'm going to start Bogdan Vodanovic over Connaughton. The game signed me for him. Let's si let's start him. And then we'll have Connaughton come off the bench, getting 18. Capazzo. we got Frank Capazzo. Oh, I actually want to swap these two guys. Bojan getting 14. Capazzo 13. And then 10 for Gary Harris. Um, and then... Uh, first scoring option, we'll do Giannis, Giannis, and then Chris Middleton, too. I'm not going to set the third option. And then assistant proficiency under Monty Williams is three-star pace and space. Ooh, uh, Bogdan hurts it. Let's see. Er, Bogdan kind of hurts it. I think we'll start. Yeah, I'll probably, I'm going to start Pat Connaughton. Is there any other is there better point cards in this system? Let's 
Let's see. Or is uh, Frank Apazo? Is Frank Apazo is actually better at point guard? Hmm. Is he a lot better though than Drew? Um. No, not really. Okay, I'll keep Drew. I'm gonna start Connaughton actually. So let me fix that. Um. Uh, unless there's a better system proficiency. Oh, post centric are actually three and a half stars. Um. Maybe I just do post centric. Seven seconds defense worth three and a half. Balance worth three and a half. Actually, I'm just gonna set it to balanced. Let's make that make that active. All right, we'll set the balanced, and I'll probably see you guys at the end of the season. All right, screw it. I gotta shake up this team. I'm trading Bobby Portis and Dana Turner for uh, Lou Dort and Hamadou Diallo. Uh, Lou Dort is a good. I know he's a good defender. He's not shooting well, but if he could play good defense, his plus minus is solid. What is Bobby's plus minus? Yeah, he's a negative 4.5. We're doing this trade. Let's screw it. Oh, uh, yeah, let's accept it. Yeah, all right, Pelican. There we go. Let's see what our all right, Pelicans deal. Let's see what this uh, rotation is going to look like. Modify it. And they're starting Composo. Hmm. Composo, Connaughton, Middleton, Giannis, Gafford, with a bench of Lou Dort. Bogdan Modanovic, Hamadou Diallo, and Marjan Bojamp. Holiday's hurt right now. You know what, 2K, just do your thing. Whatever I'm doing is not working. Our system is, is uh, three and a half stars. Yeah, I'm going to see if this little, little shake-up helps us. If not, oh well. I'm going to oh well. I might, I'm going to just probably end the video and look at the stats. Uh, I might I may hop in a game if we don't if we're still doing bad I might hop in a game towards the end of the regular season All right, I just got offered this trade. I'm definitely doing for Drew Holiday. It is uh, For James Harden from the Sixers. I do have to give up a top three protected 20 27 first uh, Drew Holiday has not been good this year to say the least oof he Fallen off a, he has fallen off a cl cliff. Really regressed this year. Not great. If you look at Harden, he's been very. He's, he's he's definitely not as good as he was last year. But I will take those numbers from him, for sure. Yeah, we're gonna do this. I think this definitely. I think this could help us win some more games. Hopefully, because we're twenty and thirty-two. Really need to pick it up here if we want to have any chance at making the playoffs. All right, guys. And at the end of the final season, we did not make the playoffs. Uh, unfortunately, it's I I fail. I, fortunately, I failed this road to the championship. Uh, doing to get getting getting James Harden on the team is is interesting, but I was just throwing bricks at the wall at this point. It, uh, we did we did only winning thirty four games in the last season is a disappointment. Hopefully, I do better in my next video. I'm gonna be doing a Spurs rebuild, uh, but to wrap this one out, I'm gonna be going through uh, the going gonna go through these awards and the stats and then I will I'll end this one I was gonna get some gameplay in but just I let the season roll on through so yeah unfortunately couldn't get it done uh, let's see John Morant is the I almost said finals MVP is the MVP of the regular season uh, rookie of the year is uh, this Servetus guy who was drafted a couple years ago this Euro stash by the Jazz uh, Anthony Simon six man of the year guy I tried to trade for yeah, I can see why they didn't trade him. Giannis wins his third straight deep boy. So I, I was successful in that in that aspect that Giannis is winning deep boy a lot. Or every single season. Taylor Jenkins, coach of the year for the 64-win Grizzlies. Wow, okay. Giannis is all NBA first team again. I uh, don't know if we're going to get... We're probably not going to get anybody else on these all NBA teams. Just looking. Or, or besides Giannis on all NBA first team. That's all we're going to get there. There's all defensive second team, all rookie first team there. And Bronny James makes second team there for the Hawks. It's interesting. And I'm going to look at our stats and we will wrap this out. But first, I want to see where we finished in the standings. Uh, the Cavs are the best team in the East. We were. 
Not the worst team. We were... Actually, we just missed the play-in. Wow. <laughs> we were pretty bad, but we missed the play-in by one game. Wow. So there, were, there were still four teams below us. Dang. All right. So let's wrap this out by looking at the stats. Uh, Giannis balled out. He's a 99 now. Look at that. Absolutely balled out. Almost 30 from 3 there, which is not which is about where he's been at. Uh, Chris Middleton was solid this year. I mean, we look at He did jump up in points this year. His uh, field goal percentage went down a little bit. Shot a little bit better from 3. Improved, it, improved at the line each year, which is awesome. I will take that. Uh, James Harden was good for us as our number 3. Uh, and then Gafford was pretty solid. Uh, Lou Dort was Lou Dort for us was was all right. Uh, there's uh, Bogdan Bodanovich. What was he from three? It was forty from three. That's good. Uh, and then there's Hamadou Diallo, Frank Capazzo, Connaughton. Ojamp was not great. Ooh, he was not great at all. Oh man, oof. Rough season for Bojamp. There's Richie Fox, Gary Harris, Covington, and Thanasis. So, yeah, that was going to do it for my first NBA 2K20 video. <laughs> I said 2K20. First 2K23 video. Hopefully you all enjoyed. I did have fun making this. It was it was quite the challenge. Uh, too bad I couldn't get Giannis another chip. But maybe, maybe another, maybe, uh, maybe another time we'll do a, we'll do a Bucks rebuild. Uh, like a like a ten year rebuild or, or or something with with Giannis. I don't know. Maybe in the future we'll do another Bucks video. But yeah. Anyways, hope you all enjoyed. Like I said, I'm just repeating what I said, and I will see you all in my next video. Uh, bye everybody, and have a great day.